if this story is true, then FSG are idiots. I'm sorry, they're absolute gum beans if this is true. This video is being sponsored by our friends at Spitch, the best fantasy football manager game on the App Store bar none. Why is it the best? You don't have to commit to an entire season. You can play individual game weeks if you want, choosing a brand new team every single weekend. Right now there's a new season mode where you can win up to £50,000 and there's even a free season mode with prizes of up to £2,500. Seasons mode is based on 34 game weeks and only your best five are counted at the end of the season. There are tons of stats and analytics available inside the app to help you choose your team and give you the best chance of winning. If the money and the gameplay wasn't enough to tempt you, how about Jurgen Klopp being an ambassador for speech this season? If it's good enough for Mr. Klopp, it's good enough for me. You must be 18 years or over to play. Use our link in the description below to download Spitch and win money with your football knowledge. Uh, Craig, I hope we spend a lot next summer because I'm tired of always hearing next summer. I feel you. I feel you, user 1188. Um, we've been sold this pup before. I, I like. What else can we do other than give them the benefit of the doubt because nothing can happen until January anyway. So like nobody can sign anybody. So we have to wait and see. But that does kind of lead me in rather nicely to start talking about the midfield situation. And let's start with a potential negative because, you know, I do like to build up to the happy stuff. They say Reds target Moses Caicedo drops Chelsea hint. The article goes on to say that actually since maybe Graham Potter's moved to Chelsea, puts Chelsea in box position to sign Moses Caicedo. And look, that's no surprise to me. As soon as Potter signed for Chelsea as manager, I said to Connor and the lads in our, involved in the channel, this will probably see him come back in for Casado. So no surprises in that one. And that story's been doing the rounds. But look, that is what it is. You know, I've no issues with that. I don't want to say he's a Johnny come lately, Moses Casado, but he's a new talent that we're really getting to see in the Premier League. And obviously, Graham Potter is the manager that gave him his breakthrough. And if Chelsea signed him and he goes there, no issues, no issues with that. No issues whatsoever. My issue came with something that was posted by LFC Transfer Room. And again, the issue is not with LFC Transfer Room whatsoever. My issue is with... Well, look, you'll know what my issue is now in a second. So this is from LFC Transfer Room. And they say, Info, Jurgen Klopp is thinking of Matthias Nunch from Wolves to strengthen his side in 2023. Nunch is on top of the wish list, followed by Enzo Fernandez from Benfica, who is being scouted or followed very closely. Now... We know about Enzo Fernandez' interest from Liverpool because Melissa already told us about that previously. But here's what winds me up. We did a piece on this after Wolf signed Nunes where I said, if it gets to the point where the story being leaked that we're going to go in for Nunes next summer is true, then there's some serious fucking problems here, my friends. Because why would we wait for a player that we could have had? And we could have had cheaper than we're going to have to buy him for if we want him next summer. Now, remember what we were told in the summer. We were told that the targets that Jurgen Klopp wanted weren't available. And that was the reason why we weren't in the market spending money on a midfielder. So with too many, we understood that we lost out. With Jude Bellingham, we understood he wasn't available in that window. Again, we let that go. But this, for me, this would be the icing on the stupidity cake of FSG if we go in and pay more money next summer for a player that should have probably been in our midfield this fucking season when we needed him it's not a case of he wasn't available then is it my friends it's a case of they weren't willing to pay for him now you can say to me that they wanted to hang off a season to see how he adapted to the Premier League but that then puts the whole scouting system and their job and their reputation and their critiquing and their influence and their decision making a question because we've brought in players from Portugal and they've seemed to adapt quite well in Diaz's point of view and in Nunes's point of view was in Darwin's you know he's still settling in so I don't get this if this story is true then FSG are idiots I'm sorry they're absolute gum beans if this is true like, why would you end up paying more for a player in a year's time that you needed last year as well as next year and paying a premium for it? It stinks. It stinks to high heaven to me of more lies. So I was worried this was going to be the case, by the way. Watch again after Wolves signed Nunch, I said at the time, 
if we are in for him next summer, because there was already stories doing the rounds, that is just idiotic beyond belief. I don't get it. It's more lies if it's true. So what do you guys think about it? Do you think that Liverpool are in for Matthias Nunes next summer? Because remember, we have a good relationship with his agent, George Mendes. We've done Fabinho and Jota and a couple of other deals, I think, with him um, and his agency. Deco, remember Deco being at Anfield, I think, for the Fabinho unveiling. So it's confusing. It's confusing. And we've done it before, by the way. We did it with Virgil van Dijk. When Virgil van Dijk was at Celtic, uh, I think it was Gary McAllister at the time had said to Brendan Rodgers, you might want to take a look at this fella up here in Celtic. You know, he's doing bits up there. He's, he's head and shoulders above everybody else he's playing with. And I think he'd be a great addition. And our own hubris or our own stupidity meant that we allowed him to go from Celtic for 12 million quid to Southampton where he showed that he was head and shoulders above the players around him. And we then went and paid 75 million quid for him. So for a set of owners that are supposed to be lauded for being clever and the smartest guys in the room, this would just be more stupidity in my eyes. And I don't understand it. It's frustrating and it's stupid. Midfield is an urgent repair or enforced next season 100%. Without doubt, we needed a midfielder this summer. We probably need two or three next summer. And the reason I say two or three, it's three if Jurgen Klopp doesn't feel that either um, Tyler Morton or Bajicic is ready to go. If one of those two guys are ready to go, then it's probably two, Jude Bellingham and somebody else. So how do you feel about this? Do you think there's any truth to these links to Matthias Nunch? Or do you think it's another situation that the media are trying to stir up a bit of trouble at Liverpool? Because... You know, there's been a few stories lately that have been just put out there to try and um, cause division. There's an island that belongs on. See, Lance, I don't know if it does belong on Bullshit Island. That's that's the worrying thing for me. I am. Um, I look at this scenario and can actually see a situation where we do that, and that that's what frustrates me and worries me, because I'd love to come on here and say, oh yeah, this is nonsense. We've no interest in them, but I fear we might have some interest in them. That, that, that's what confuses me. Uh, he said, biggest fan from Saudi Arabia, mate. Thank you, buddy. Appreciate your support and I hope you're well. Um, don't see FSG spending money after Jude. It'll probably be Tielemans or Lamer on a free transfer. Which is absolutely unacceptable, isn't it? You know, it's it's just not good enough. Just They're, they're going to have to spend the money. This has come from Twitter from an account called... Manu Heredia. Again, this has been translated from Spanish by Google. It says, pay attention to this. Arthur's easygoing attitude has Jurgen Klopp fed up, who doesn't want to count on him. Liverpool is already looking for a way to cut the transfer contract that is signed with Juve a few weeks ago. I, I, I don't know where to go with that, to be honest with you. Um, <laughs> I'm, I, I'm Honestly, I'm lost for words with it. I don't know where to go with it because we've seen... Something similar about Darwin, you know, that Liverpool have made a huge mistake and they'd realised they'd made a huge mistake, yada, yada, yada. But, I mean, it just adds, if, if there's any truth to this, and I don't know if there is or isn't, but if it's true, it just again shows how poorly managed our transfer window was with regards to midfield. This is what happens if you don't admit we need a midfielder until the last hours of the window and you're scrambling around trying to bring in players on loan. Um, I certainly won't be judging Arthur already because how could I? We've only seen a few minutes of him kick a football for Liverpool, so no judgment for me on the player. But it's a, it's a, it's a crazy situation, if it's true. I don't know if it is or isn't. But certainly we'll... Uh, yeah, we'll wait and see what happens. But, I mean, I don't think... Look, I struggle to believe that his easygoing attitude is what makes him fed up because, like, just look at Joel Matip, one of the most laid back, calm fellas you'll ever meet. And once he steps on the football pitch, he's a th thorough professional, an absolute, you know, top tier centre back. So, I mean, just the wording of it, the, the easygoing attitude. You know, I think it's kind of trying to insinuate he's lazy or, you know, he's maybe showing up late or something. I don't know because there's no, there's no details 
you know, and I'm always a bit worried about stories where there's no detail. So unless I see this or hear this from a James Pearson, Melissa Reddy, a Paul Joyce, a Simon Hughes, uh, Quivo O'Neill, somebody, you know, who will actually give us some insight into what may or may not have happened. Again, this is just conjecture as far as I'm concerned. 